Hi, I'm Glenna Generis, and I'll be leading you through a Forever Fit class today. So we will start standing and do our warm up, and we have an interval of cardio and then some weight training. If you don't have a set of light hand weights, you can use um, water bottles or cans of vegetables or something, or just do the movement without any weight. So please start with some water near you. Um, if you need a mat, have that beside you as well. So we're going to get started, and you're just going to start with a step tap side to side. So it'll be a nice warm up of tapping it with the arms pressing up and down. And we're going to keep that going and take some nice deep breaths. And let's do four more. Then we're going to step and bring the knee to the elbow and pull across. So we're starting to twist that lower body. Warm up through the shoulders. Take some deep breaths. Let's do four more. Bring it in. Tuck it. Go to hamstrings. Take the heels in back. Lifting the heels up. Get a nice stretch through your quads. And we're going to keep that lower body kicking back and take the arms into a chest fly. Wide open. Strong core. And again, four more. Wide stance with one arm up. Push over your head. Bend your knees a little in the middle. Warming up those shoulders. Down into the hips. Lift over. Push up. Breathe. Four more going up. Now to the corners. Twist across your body. Feel that rotation. Get a little bit deeper in your hips when you bend in the middle. And we'll do four more. Push with that breath. Now down towards your knees. Get a low stance with wide hips. Push as low as you can. Stretching through your inner thighs. Hanging on from your core. Four more. Go back to the hamstring curl. Lift your heels. Kick back so your hips stretch. Quads and thighs stretch. Keep that lower body kicking back. Chest fly. Open your arms. Pull it wide. Last four. Double kick with a diagonal arm. Two up, switch. Lift up, switch. Reach it tall. This requires a little more balance. Strengthening in your center, lengthening in your spine. Breathing into that lift. Two more each side. Take a wide stance and bob and weave as you lift your elbow. Punch your arm across. Stay as low as you can with your knees bent. Take some deep breaths. Four more. Push it and punch it. Double arm overhead. Push over your head and reach. Again, stretch long and tall. Push. Four more. Back to the knee and elbow crossing and twisting. Tuck and pull. Twist and crunch. Looking good. Singles. Four more. Repeat her knee for four. Stay as low as you can. Other side. Pull across and tuck it. Other side. Repeat her knee. Again to the side and tuck it across. To the right. Pull it four. Last set to your left. Now stay this way. Lunging side. Push it out. Push it out. Get a little lower with both arms reaching. Bend that bottom knee a little more. Stretch that torso nice and long. Breathe deeply. Four more. Wide stance, feet apart. Push down through your knees and hips, opening up your inner thighs. Breathing deeply. Upright Break row, heel, heel tap. tap. Lift, Lift the elbows, elbows flex, flex the, the foot, foot, point the toes up. Tap that, that heel, stretching, stretching into the calf and Achilles. Four more. Bow, Bow and arrow. Take, take a pull across, across and lift. Bow, Bow and arrow. Knee is, is wide, hip, hip is open. Stay strong. Breathe deeply. 
Legs, Legs stay the same. same. Arms, Arms go over your head. head. We, we reach, reach and pull. pull. Tuck, tuck and tuck. Stay strong. Wide thighs. Knees out. And four. And two. Let's, Let's march it out. out. Bring, Bring your thighs up high. Pump, pump your arms. Take, take the march a little wider. Now, now bend, bend down, down in your knees. knees pull, pull your hips back. back. Marching squats. Stay, Stay as low as you can. can. Eight more. Take, take a breath. Four, four more. Come, come back up. Set, set your feet about as wide as your hips and, and take a squat. Exhale, exhale back. back. Strong in your core. Yes. Watch, Watch the form of your knees over your toes. toes. Deep breath. Combine, Combine one squat with, with a kick, kick up. Right, right leg, squat, squat back. back. Left leg, kick up. Bend, Bend it, breathe it. Strong, strong in your core. core. Down, Down and up. Bend, Bend and squeeze. Kick. Work, Work from, from that core. core. Last four. Deep, Deep breath. Two, Two more. Stay, Stay up for a tall soldier, soldier kick. kick. Opposite, Opposite arm and leg. Body in line. Reach, reach and stretch. Kick, kick and push. push. Nice and tall. Last four. Kick, kick across, across your body. body. Bring, Bring your arms in the opposite, opposite direction. direction. Lower, Lower body, a little twist. twist. Everything loosening up. That, that was a great warm up. Drink, drink a little bit of water. And then, then grab, grab your light hand weights or your bottles, bottles of water. water. And, and we'll, we'll get, get started, started on that, that weight section of our intervals, intervals in, in about 10 seconds. seconds. We'll, we'll start, start with our step tap. tap. Side, side to side, step tap. Body tall. Adding a bicep curl. Bring, bring it up and down. Flex and curl, calf, calf side. Elbows, elbows in tight. Take, take those full breaths. About eight, eight more. more. Work, Work that front, front of the arm. arm. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last, Last two. We'll, we'll take, take a narrow, narrow stance with, with what, what I call a chair pose, pose squat. squat. Tricep kickback. Kick Elbows are high. Shoulders, shoulders are stable. Abs are engaged. engaged. To continue this, I'm going to turn sideways so you, you can see that the torso, torso is straight and long. The shoulders, shoulders are stable and the elbows are high. high. Exhale, Exhale through the extension, extension pushing back. back. And, and about six more. more. Smooth and strong. Bend, Bend and extend. Abs engaged. engaged. Knees are bent, body is long, elbows high, one more. Feel the back of the arms and finish at the chest. Stand up, push into a V diagonally, reaching out, resisting in, opening, exhale, push it, inhale. Warming up through the lats and shoulders, strong and tall through your body. Pushing evenly into a symmetrical V. Pulling down with a resisting feeling. Nice breath through that lift. If you have eight more, you can do singles or both arms. One up and down, switch. Push up and down, switch. Exhale, inhale, or both arms together. Last four. Reach and squeeze three. Exhale, extend two. Last one. Bring it to the chest. A little closer stance, that chair pose again. Wide elbows, big fly. Pull back. Squeeze and lift. Knees, Knees are bent, bent, body is long. Abs are engaged, supporting the spine. Elbows, elbows are rounded. Opening and squeeze at the top. Pull wide and lift. Big flying motion. Six. Exhale when you lift up. Four. Abs are strong, breathing. Two more. Smooth and even. Finishing. Coming into the chest. Stand up. Bring, Bring the weights in front of the thighs. Single raise front, right, right arm, left arm. 
push, push out, out, raise and lower, and extend and breathe, front, front of, the of the shoulder, shoulder. Torso, torso stays tall, body aligned, singling, continuing, or you, you can, can try, try both arms at the same, same time. time. Your, Your choice, choice, both arms or one and then the other. Eight, eight more. Bring, bring it up, push, push it, it, exhale it out, lift it, strong and tall. Deep, deep breath. Feel your, your body. body. Reach through that extension. Last two. And last one. Let's, Let's give it a shoulder roll. roll. Circle, Circle the arms around and over. Lift, lift the shoulder blades and breathe. Feel, feel that stretch through your chest. We'll reverse, reverse it going back first. Up and, and over to the front. front. Lift, lift the shoulder blades and roll. Around, loosening, last time. Upright row. You zip up the middle and give it a little squeeze. Return. Exhale and lift. Inhale and lower. Now, you're going to continue this with the option of a side leg lift. Right and left. Right. Left. That will require a little more balance if you're pushing out through that leg. And if that doesn't feel right, then keep both feet nice and stable. Eight more. Side leg with the upright row. Squeeze at the top. Push out through the heel. Aligned and tall. Strong and energized. Squeeze and resist. Last one. We're doing some traditional bicep curls with marching. So start with your feet parallel. Shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale and inhale. Thigh up, right and left. Marching, flex, lift, curl, press. Strong and tall. Breathe into it. Let's do it again. Energize your body. And we have eight. Curl flex. Alternate the thigh up. Elbows in tight to the waist and ribs. Open and lower the arms with control. Two more. Feel strong through your back. Finish and take a wide stance with your feet. Let's warm up the hips and knees. Keep the weights at the torso. Push out, pull in. Bend and stretch. Open the thighs. And we'll do two more, and then we're going to add our deltoid. Both elbows lifting 90 degrees. Bend and straighten. Press and squeeze. Exhale, inhale. Feel the top of the shoulder. Push the thighs out. Squeeze and lift. Exhale and inhale. Six more. If you'd like to take one arm at a time, go ahead. Singles are fine. Breathe into it. Hips go low. Last two. Both arms or one at a time. Great job. Keep your stance. Go back into that plie squat and rotate and twist. Punch across. Spiral your spine. Exhale. Work hard, work strong. Breathe and push. This will be our last weight exercise for this interval. So give me eight more. Stay as low as you can. Twist and extend. Rotate and breathe. Spiral, push. Stay low, twist and finish. Come in, straighten up. Let the arms go down and toe heel it in. And let's just do a side torso flexion. Right elbow up. Flex your body to the left. Reach, 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 and pull up. Left elbow up, side flex right. Give it a big stretch, strengthen to return. Four more. Up and over, let it go. Strengthen and lift. Reach and flex. Feel strong lifting up. Feel long lengthening to the side. One more. Take that breath in and let it exhale all the way down. Come back to the center. Bend your knees when you put your weights or your water bottles down. Hydrate a little more. And in 10 seconds, we'll do our next little low impact cardio. section. All right, we're gonna go back to the step tap, starting to the right. Step tap, side to side. 
take some nice deep breaths. We'll be continuing the step tap, but the arm will change to a back stroke. So it's gonna circle around like this. So this is giving a big circular reach, stretching through your chest and shoulders, taking those nice deep breaths. Let's do four more. And then we're going into rocking horse. We're gonna rock the body front and back. Rock your weight, lift your heel and your knee. One more rock. Now do a grapevine. Travel to the side, travel to the side. Four more grapevines. Breathing, last two, traveling. Stay in place for rocking horse going the other way. Rock your weight, heel, knee, feel your core. One more rock. Take your grapevine, left and right. Move and breathe. Four more grapevines. Two more. Stay in place, rocking horse, three times. Three, two, one. One grapevine. Rocking horse right here. Three, two, one. One grapevine. Do that again, rocking horse. Heel, knee. One more. One grapevine. Rocking horse, last set. Rock your weight. Breathe and one grapevine. Marching it out. Knees high, pump your arms. Take another deep breath. March wider, open it up. Bend down, marching low. Stay as low as you can using a lot of core. Bob and weave. Punch it across, punch it across. Lift the elbow, punch, warm up the shoulder. Breathe. Last four. Then we're gonna travel to the right. Move to the side, double walk, punch. Side to side, walk and punch. Stay low when you walk it. Lift the elbow and punch. Breathe. Continue this. You have the option to walk or to shuffle. Travel it, travel it, punch it. Walk it or shuffle it. Four more. Bend and get low. Two more. Last time, stay in place, over, overhead push, overhead push. We have that double arm stretch, breathing. And four more. Now go into hamstring curls, heels up. Kick back, stretch your hips. We're gonna keep kicking back and take a chest fly. Elbows out, open wide, deep breath. Double kick two, up here, reach, lift and stretch, heel and back, work that core, kick and stretch. Double it again, two more each side. Now our rocking horse, rock your weight. One more rock, grapevine, let's do five, four, three, two, Last one, rocking horse right here. Heel knee, shift your weight, breathe it. One more, grapevine to the sides. Travel, travel, looking good. Two more, last one. Side lunges, push it out, push it out. Stay strong. Nice, eight more of these. Last four. Separate your feet wide, bend your knees. Push down through your hips, feel strong in your core. Upright row, tap your heel and flex. Point the toes up, stretch through the ankle, calf and Achilles. Swing your arms side to side. Keep tapping those heels. Now change the leg to a side leg lift. Push it out, push it out. Stretch and breathe. Last four, 
two more. Now we're going to travel to your right. Take a circle and a lift. Left. Circle and reach. Right. Move to the side. Lift. Under and over. Stretch. Breathe. Travel. Looking good. How about four more? Move it around. Lift it. Circle and travel it. One more time. Stay in place. Overhead push. Push overhead. Breathe. Take it to the corner. Cross your chest. Reach and twist and push. Bend your knees. Get down in your hips. Four more here. Now bend down towards your knees, getting as low as you can. Stretching those inner thighs and hips. Try to push towards the floor. You got it. Eight more. Wide stance. Push down. Use your core and breathe. Come on, two more. How about those hamstrings? Kick it up. Curl it back. Take that breath. Step tap in back. Push it down. Tap it. Tap it. So this is kind of a level one. Lower impact. A way to get your heart rate up would it be bring your arms over your head. A little more heart rate going on there. Still tapping back at a diagonal. Stretching that outer hip. And then if you really want a little more cardio, hop to the side. Hopping won't be for everybody. Stay low impact or hop tap. Eight more. Push it. Hop it. Breathe it or stay low. Four more. Bow and arrow. Open the hip. Pull wide. Stretch that thigh out. Pull the elbow across the chest. Keep the lower body the same. Arms overhead. Reach up. Pull down. Take a tuck. Really crunch it. Give me the last four. Strong in your core. Let's go back to marching. Bring your thighs up nice and high. Pump your arms. Separate your feet about hip width. Squat back. Bend and lift. Press. Squeeze. Looking good. Combine a squat with a side kick. Right, center, punch kick left, out and down. Squeeze, breathe. Get as deep as you can. Work from your core. Watch the form right here. Center it, squeeze it. Punch it, kick it. Take it down, punch it out. Breathe and squeeze. Last two. Work from that center. Toe tap down to the side and tap and tap. Bringing the heart rate down a little bit. Six more taps. And then we're getting ready for our next set of weights. So go ahead and drink your water, grab your weights, 10 seconds, and we'll start that next interval set. All right, start from a squat. Bend the knees, bring the hips back. Hammer curl and a narrow overhead press. Bend at the hips and knees. Bring the body up as you flex the elbows and extend through from the shoulders. Bring it down, bend and push it. Hinge and squeeze. Connecting your core with strength. Take full deep breaths. On the next one, the option to lift your heels when you push up here. Heel raise option. Flex down, hammer curl, drive it up, bend at the hips and knees, strong in your core. Pull the weight back, feel the alignment. Deep breath, watch the form when you flex down, knees over your toes, everything aligned and strong. Take that push, squat back, power those legs, nice and even, two more, long spine, one more, we're going to continue the overhead press, with or without heel raise, so push from the shoulders, keep it narrow, breathe it out, option to raise the heels or keep them down, four, three, two, 
one, bring it to the center. A little closer stance, boxing. Spine long, one arm forward, one arm back. Meet in the middle. Bend, extend, push, reach. Showing you from the side, long spine, strong core, bend in the middle, push out, exhale, extend, core engaged. Eight more. Out and in. Exhale and inhale. Knees bent, spine long. Breathe, reach, last two. Drive it through the push. Come to the chest and stand up. We'll do a serving diagonal push out, shoulder height. Serve and return. Exhale, inhale. Keep the arms about shoulder height with the palms up, diagonally pushing out to a V. So we're warming this up. So when we go into our curtsy lunges, you'll have the option to do the serving arm. Let me show you the lower body. Stepping to your right, cross back and do a curtsy lunge. Step left, cross back diagonally and bend. Step out, cross, bend. You can keep the weights quiet or feel free to serve those arms. Bring it in, curtsy lunge. Step out, cross back. Work your core, push, arms out of V, and you're looking great. Six more. Bend in the knees and stretch through the hips. Exhale, extend in the V. Cross the leg and feel power through the push. Work evenly, breathe it, one more, and finish. Step forward on your right foot. Your arms are going to go to the back in a V. Your left foot can stay down as a little kickstand balance, or your left leg can lift with the arms. So we have a squeezing feeling, a long spine, and a breath with the lift. Remember the back leg can lift up, or it can stay down on that toe tap kickstand. Push through. Be looking at a focal point out in front of you on the floor. Let's do about four more. Work that lift. Squeeze that glute if you're lifting your thigh. Keep your pelvis flat and level. And how about one more? And finish. Rotator cuff, very important. Elbows are 90, shoulders are in and down. Rotate the arm out and in. Exhale, inhale. Initiate the movement from the very top of your arm so that you have that outward spiraling rotation open, elbows in tight. Also feeling the wrists at a 90, or a straight wrist position here. So the elbows are 90 and the wrists are straight. Rotation from the top of the arm, outward spiral, press it back to neutral. Five more. Squeeze, strengthen. Rotate, return. Exhale, inhale. Get that big stretch, give me one more. Great job, come to the middle. Step forward on your left. Tapping that right foot back. The arms again are in that V. Pushing back with that squeeze at the top. Your back leg can stay on the toe tap for balance or your back leg can lift. Doesn't have to be super high. Keep that core working. Feel that balance. Just reminding you that all of this weight work is very effective even if you don't have weights. So I hope you're still hanging in there. You've got six more of these. The back leg can stay down or it can lift up. You're pushing the arms in a V. You're angling your body forward and looking at that focal point. Keeping that core strong. And Lee, one more. Bring it in. And let's take some shoulder rolls. We're gonna loosen up the shoulders because we're gonna really go into some strong shoulders on the next set. Reverse, come from the back, over to the front, two more. Loosen and breathe. Weights to the chest, wide plie stance. So we did this in the last 
weight segment where we bend the knees wide, open the hips, and breathe. This time, we'll do a deltoid chest press. So go down and lift your elbows. Stay down, push your arms forward, pull them back, and straighten up. Exhale, inhale. Knees wide, hips stay low. Feel the top of the shoulder. Strengthen, working into the breath. Push it forward, pull it back, lift it up. Shoulders and chest, five more. Exhale, inhale. Knees wide, feel the strength. Open the hips, power the push. Give me that breath, stretch and bend. One more, hips as low as you can stay and come back up and walk it in. Arnold's, more shoulders. Start with the center position. Open chest fly, push up, pull to 90, close it in. Open it out, drive it up, bend it down, return, exhale, inhale. If you want a balanced challenge, bring your right thigh up, pull it in and down. Now left, thigh up, push it down. Open, flex, breathe, press, feel that core, squeeze to the lift, five more. Open the arms, lift the thigh, 90 degree elbows, power the push. Use your breathing, feel your shoulders. One more on each side, finish strong, you got this, and come back in. One more set of triceps. You have the option to do it the way we did the first set, which is a chair pose squat with a long neutral spine, shoulders stable, elbows high, or keep that going or overhead. Stagger your feet, exhale to push. Shoulders are still stable. Elbows would be pointing up, maintaining the length of your neck and the core support through your torso. Flex and extend, six. Exhale when you push up or back. Spine long and strong. Resist. And one more. Bring the weights into your chest, lower down. And we'll do our side torso flexion a little quicker this time. Right elbow up, torso flex, stretch, 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 pull up, reverse. Take that reach, lengthen it, inhale. Flex it over, exhale. Breathe into the movement. Give me one more. Let it lengthen down. All right, we're gonna do one more quick cardio set. Drink a little more water. This cardio set starts with some skating side to side, starting right. Skate, skate. Skate, skate, looking good. Bend the knees, clap and push, side to side. You can travel this forward a little bit, skate forward. Travel back by doing hamstrings, pulling and tucking, kicking and curling. Skate it, push it up, skate, hamstring curl, tuck and curl, pull back. Skate diagonally, forward, forward. Hamstring back, pull, tuck, pull, tuck. Two more sets, breathe, skate. Hamstring curl, elbows wide, heel up. Let's skate it out, last set, push and push. Hamstring curl and tuck, heels up. Now keep those hamstrings coming right here. Feel the heels up, the chest open. And last four. And last two. Bob and weave. Bend your knees. Lift your elbow. Punch across. Four more, then we're traveling to your right. Double walk punch. Move, punch across. Left, travel, punch across. Right. Remember, you can walk to the side or shuffle. Shuffle or walk. Travel and punch. Scoot and move. Stay low, last four, walking is fine, two more, 
last one. Stay in place, double arm up, push over your head, reach and lift, last four and two. Wide stance, push down, knees open, push and push. Inner thigh stretch, look good. Two more, inhale, arms up, exhale down, deep breath, one more. Now, take your right arm to the side, left hand behind the head. Notice the thighs are wide and the hips are low. Torso flexion, exhale it over, move to the side. Neck long, chin up, take that breathing. Stay as low as you can. Push the hips down, open the thighs wide, flex the torso. Give me that side stretch, three more. Down and up, two more. Breathe and reach, one more. Center, bend the knees, sweep in a circle with the arms. Loosening the hips. Two more. Deep breath, stay up. And let's take the left arm to the side, right hand behind the head. Knees wide, <clears throat> flex it over. Side stretch the body. Exhale down, anchor that lower body. Move that torso to the side. Flex with the exhale. Lengthen your neck and keep your chest open. Reach laterally. Last three, hit it and stretch it. Breathe it and finish it. Center it and sweep. Bend the knees, circle. Arms down and up. Deep breath, one more. Great job. Arms down, toe heel it in. Stand on your right leg. Bring your left knee up in front of you. Can be low or high. Rotate out and in. A little balance. Nice strong core. Push out. Open the hip. Last three. Stretch and return two. Hold it open now. Now see if you can lift that thigh and just pulse it up. Keeping your core strong, your body tall, anchoring energy to your pelvis, pulse that thigh. Six and three. Step down on it and bend your knees, sweeping side to side, catching your breath. All right, we've got the other side. Standing on your left. Bring your right knee up in front. It can be low or a little higher. And we rotate out and in. Spiral it open. Torso stays tall and aligned. Move the thigh, breathe. Press out and in. Stretch through the hip. Work that core. Keep that balance. Press that thigh out. External spiral two. Open the thigh, hip wide one and hold. Lift the thigh and pulse. Keep the body tall. Energy through your spine, active core stability into your pelvis. Six more pulses of your leg to the side. Three, two, one, step down. Bend your knees and swing your arms, sweeping side to side. Reach and breathe. Great job, you guys. We're gonna do a lift of the back leg. Step forward on your left. Take the back leg and back, and lift and tap. So this is kind of like the airplane. Body long, arms out for balance, hips stable, thighs straight, squeeze the glute, focus on the lift, keep the core, and we have four more here. Strong feeling, long spine, and one more. Just little marches before we do the other side. Take another breath, step forward on your right. Lift the back leg, balance, use your core. Activate energy and squeeze the glute. Keep the pelvis flat and level. Arms out for balance. Thighs straight and long. Working into that squeeze. Focal point in front for balance. Raise that left leg four. Straight behind three. Squeeze and lift two. And last one. March that out. Drink a little water and then roll out your mat or lie on a soft surface carpet or something. 
And we're just going to finish up with a little core and stretch. We'll start seated, going into a boat pose. Pull your thighs up. Pulling your thighs to your chest by holding the backs of your legs is always an option. Putting your hands behind you with relaxed shoulders and soft elbows, or reaching the arms out in front. So remember you have the chest coming up, the thighs squeezing in, and the active core engaging. Take about three more breaths, holding the thighs is fine, softening by leaning back a bit, or again, the arms in front. One more breath, feel the core, engage, breathe, and come down. We're gonna lie on our back and do a little bicycle. Lower body in and out with the legs, push and pull. Strong in the core, switch and breathe. Active energy, last six. Bend and push, inner thighs pass, last two. Hug those knees into the chest. Put your feet down, preparing to bridge your spine up. Push down through your feet and roll your torso into a lift, bridge, squeeze, press, roll back down. Two more times. Articulate, roll, lift, hips high, ribs lead the way, come down, feel that stretch. This time, articulate and roll up, hold the bridge and press, keep the hips as high as you can. Option, stay with this lift or stay with the lift and add marching. Alternate the leg, flex, hips high, stretch, take that breath. If you want to get really crazy, you can reach your arms to the ceiling. A little more challenge. March about six more times. Keep your long spine and your hips high. Keep your breath. Activate your glutes. Pull up, flex and stretch. Finish last one. And both feet down. Roll the spine slowly down. All right, last exercise will be our frog. Showing you diagonally. You can keep your torso down. Push out through your heels and bend. Squeeze and stretch. Opening up the hips and thighs with the belly deep. Or you can lift your head with your elbows wide. Out and in, 10. Extend and bend, nine. Exhale and inhale. Work from the core. Squeeze. Stretch and push. Looking good, head up or down, four more. Out and in, three. Knees and hips wide, two. Breath full and deep, one. And done. We're going to stretch now. That was really great for forever fit number one. We get a nice stretch by letting the left leg lengthen and pulling the right thigh to the chest. As you straighten and bend at your knee, you're getting a nice stretch through the back of the leg, all the way through that hamstring. Now this time, keep the leg fairly straight. A little bend at the knee is fine. And then flex at the ankle, focusing more on the calf and Achilles as you loosen up that stretch. Figure four, right ankle over left knee. Notice the right thigh is rotated outward. And then you pull the left leg up. If you can, reach your hands to grab the back of your thigh and pull in a little closer. Check in with your shoulders and neck, staying relaxed, your pelvis staying flat. And again, two more breaths here to focus on the glute and the rotators of that top crossed leg. One more breath, pull it in. And then let's release that, uncross. Let the right leg lengthen, grab the back of the left thigh and start with those knee extension hamstring stretches, up and down, lengthen. And we'll hold the next one fairly straight. Push through the heel, flex at the ankle, stretch the calf and Achilles and take it one more time. Figure four, left ankle over right thigh, left thigh is rotated, right leg lifts up, push back, option to grab the back of the right thigh, and breathe into the stretch of your left glute. Shoulders relaxed, tailbone anchored, pulling the right thigh closer in so the left hip gets a bigger stretch. One more time, deeper, 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 and let it release. Hug your knees in, tuck and come to seated or roll 
to the side and extend out through your right leg. Bring your left arm up and take a reach and a side flexion of your torso over. Anchor down on your left. Reach a little farther right. Use your obliques to pull up. Take a deep breath and switch legs. Extend open to your left. Right arm up, side flex. Create that length. Opposition by anchoring down on your right, stretching over to your left, lengthening and breathing. Use the obliques, use that lift, side stretch, coming back. And we'll take a little cat cow, scoop the belly up, extend the chest and tail. Navel to the spine, create that stretch. Hollow into a C shape, lift the chest and extend. One more, pull it up and push it out. Neutral, tuck your toes, walk your hands back a little, feel your core, come onto your feet, put your hands on your thighs and roll up. Separate your feet, inhale, lift, Exhale, bend a little bit. Take that stretch. Really breathe through that energy up one more time and stay up and have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again in the future.